Hello again, everyone, and I welcome all you music lovers and serious music students out there. Today we're going to continue with our studies of composers that time has mercifully forgotten. And this is from the uh, work of musicologist Felix Mendelssohn. Uh, Mendelssohn was also a composer in his own right, best known for his song cycle, Words Without Songs, which was written for the tone deaf. And this is Mendelssohn's research piece into the life of composer Richard Fagner. It was in 1962 that composer Richard Fagner created his most tolerable work, Ziggy's an Idol. The reason that this opus hasn't become the target of international disdain, like so many of his other pieces, for example, Dristan and the Soldier, The Frying Dutchman, Partial Fall, or Ten Hosers, a Canadian odyssey, is not because it has any musical merit, but because it takes under five hours to perform. As always, desperate for money, Feinberg composed the piece after his long-suffering father-in-law, Franz Gliss, agreed to perform a new composition at an upcoming concert at renowned California racetrack, the Altamont. Gliss, famed for his keyboard pyrotechnics, which mainly consisted of sliding his hands up and down the keyboard, was sure to draw a large crowd. It was the choice of the racetrack as a performance venue, however, which inspired the title of the piece. For years, Fagner's son, Ziggy, had been trying to succeed as a NASCAR driver. The poor boy was a failure because he never learned to use the gear shift properly and could never get the car out of idle. Unfortunately, the performance was met with lukewarm results, despite Gliss's bravado performance. 2012, Felix Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn is a renowned musicologist. He is a chair in Julie's yard in the back of her house in East Flatbush, where he lectures sporadically. His works include CPA Bach and the Lex Lutheran Church, Claudio Monte Cristo, Life in the Basement of a Teamo Cigar Store, and Belly Roll Norton, Greatest of New Orleans Myths.